right, I brought the Dark Prince. And his billowing clouds behind him, first of the Undead Horde. Back again. The dead don't seem to rest, so we'll put him down once more. Let's see, everything according to the regular. Nothing weird here with Bellacor, just all his regular stuff. As for my opponent bringing in Vlad. Corpse cart, two whites, zombie skeletons, graveyard. What I expected. But I definitely didn't bring what he expected. I think he was expecting Sybil because those two whites are on foot. Anti-infantry, Vlad, also great duelist. Definitely could have taken Sigvald out. The only problem is there's no Sigvald. And a little preemptive in summoning those skeleton warriors, the ROR variant. Zombies and skeletons on both sides trying to outcat me. Zangors busted as they are. Three chosen of corn coming in. And you know the drill. They're just gonna go in there and cause some damage. 76, jeez. 66 melee attack? Those boys are gonna get to work. He's got a lot of units, and we got a lot of killing to do. And Bellacor, enfeebling foe, and no pit of shades. Why no pit of shades? I've I've been feeling pit of shades has very has been lacking. Air of effects not bad. I don't expect any elite units, so instead I'd rather just boost up my units. If he brings in a lot of physical resistance, the magic text and the extra AP and base damage are gonna help out a lot. Matter of fact, you'll see. That increase to their attack, the Chosen specifically, is going to jump them to 111 weapon strength. CC6 melee attack. 111 weapon strength. Let that sink in. They're going to terrorize these boys. Now, a real question. Why not bring Hammer Man? Hammer time. Harry the Hammer. Uh, for 2,000, I don't think he's worth it. He's too slow. But with this blob, it's no surprise. And not only that, Vlad would murder him. Vlad would beat him with the two whites, which is what I think he was also afraid of. Sigvold and Hammer, they would have just assassinated him. So what do I bring? I bring the one thing <laughs> that really scares him. And it gets rid of this Mortis pretty quick. And not only that, I think the Chosen are doing just as good of a job as Harry would have been <laughs> if Harry was here. They, they gave me capture weight. They're solid units, and it's not a single entity. And I, yeah, I basically went against what my opponent was going to bring. Or what my opponent thought I was going to bring. And Bellicor just being able to snipe this Mortis is fantastic. I mean, look at it. It's already halfway done. Bellicor's suffering, but... Yeah, the spawns are also solid picks for a thousand. They will just chew through any <laughs> undead. Besides Graveguard. Well, maybe even Graveguard. And the Mortis is already gone. What is that? And that's the ROR variant. I think that's at least... I don't play Vampire Count, so that's at least 2,000 value gone already? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Matter of fact, look at the value right now. He's got half of mine. Belcor's still alive. That thing's crumbling. And it's just a battlefield of bodies at this point. Not even gonna bother with the side objectives as these spawn and chosen just cut through the undead horde. He's got a Varga... Uh, Vangarf? Vangulf? I don't know how to pronounce it. Vargeist. There we go. Vargeist, with their healing, the only problem is Chosen have uh, fire damage, so... Yeah, they're gonna have a tough time fighting them, too. Belikar's gonna go deal with the side objective, as the Zangor and the two Marauders just chew through those skeletons. And then it's just whatever's in the center. And as a Vampire Count player, like, I don't understand how, how they could deal with this. How do you deal with Force of Chaos's vampire counts? I don't know. It was something we were talking about while we were playing. Uh, it's the first game on my stream. Just trying to figure out with all the other players watching. Like, what could you do to deal with this nonsense? And it's tough. It's almost impossible, honestly. Yeah, my opponent bringing in dogs to help out with those zombies and realizes uh, those dogs are just going to get eaten by Bellacor, so there's no point in sending them in. Vlad's still summoning in more zombies, and we are still sending zombies back. They come in, they die, and repeat. He just summoned them, too. I just saw them get summoned, and they're already crumbling. That's insane. 
Yeah, these chosen don't mess around. Those whites on foot was a big mistake too, but I guess that's how you get the price down. Because the chosen are gonna chop through them pretty well too. Chaos halberds to come deal with the vanguard. Bar those aren't bargeist. Yeah, those aren't bargeist. Are they? No, maybe. We'll see. Bargolds. Not Bargolds. I don't know how to pronounce them. Anyways, uh, Bellacor's coming back to the center. We're out of horsemen to provide some support. Those Chaos Bonds are just chewing through, and there's not a lot left my opponent's got. He summoned in more <laughs> zombies, and they are immediately dying. His Vargolfs are already gone. Zangor's coming in to the pounce the rear of these skeletals. And here they come, the halberds. Dogs don't know what they want to do. And yeah, looking at this, vampire cows just need an update. They are just so behind now. They used to be top tier, and now they're just... With all these new units, new abilities, what could they do? Bring in blood knights? Well, guess what? I got some bad news for you. <laughs> Those aren't going to cut it either. Honestly... Oh yeah, speak of the devils. And they get cut. <laughs> they get cut real hard. They're dealing with my Zangors pretty nicely. The only problem is they're not going to last. These dogs we're going to deal with quite nicely too with those Marauder Horsemen. Although they're not heavily armored. They'll still deal with those dogs quite well. Especially once we bring in the reinforcing ones. Or er, reinforcing our horsemen. And those Chosen are still going at it. Chewing through everything. And what does my opponent got to show? Nothing really. Most of his units are gone. His Vargul, his other ones are gonna go soon. All he's got really is, what, two White Kings? Lad? That's really it. His Graveguard are gonna crumble soon enough. And yeah, look at this boost. 240 on the Chaos Bonds. That's insane. That Vargulf's gonna eat shit. And these Dual Axes, 111. Like I said, 111 at... 58 melee attack. Jeez. That's disgusting. Yeah, they're just gonna take everything out from here. And that's on a blob. With magic attack, so no physical resist for any of you. And Bellicor can just go, run away, heal back up, and then come charge back in, cause a bunch of fear, and yeah. <laughs> uh, we're taking the side objective with more Zangors or probably something else. And yeah, it's pretty much over my opponent. He's gonna tap out soon. I don't. I know this because that's what I would do. Would just Vlad by himself. What is he gonna do? Fight three units of chosen still, as Belcor finishes off the Blood Knights. Nah, nah. That's gonna be GGs. Well earned. Well earned GGs. Belcor didn't even pay for himself, but he barely got nicked. Chosen all paid for himself. Beautiful. Love seeing Corn Chosen do work. Terrible in corn roster, great in Wars of Chaos roster. Halberds ain't too, too great. Neither of these spawns, but that's what happens when you chew on zombies and skellies. And yeah, Zangor's not bad. Not bad at all. Probably could've just went nothing but Zangor's and had a good time, too. Vlad, 200, holy shit. Oh, poor Vlad. Mortis got murdered. I actually got more <laughs> value than Vlad, and that's kind of sad. Oh, poor Vlad. Well, fellas, hope you guys enjoy that. That was a quick one, but goes to show Velikor's still a bastard, but also in a weird spot. But if you did enjoy, please like, sub, follow me on Twitter. Come say hi in the streams when we do them. And the only way to get really notified of that is by Twitter. Sometimes I do surprise streams. Alright, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace and goodbye for now.